What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. No, I am not naked. There's some sleeves somewhere up in here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a good old fashioned little makeup haul. I basically did a lot of damage on Superdrug and I basically just went ham in the Revolution section. I picked up a bunch of stuff from Revolution, some stuff from the I Heart Revolution. And I think that's it. Either way, I got a lot of stuff. So if you guys are interested, if you wanna see what I picked up, please stay tuned. All right, so first of all, I am so stoked about this. I didn't even know this was a thing, like I hadn't seen it anywhere, but I saw it online and I was like, oh, like this may as well just be called like, I, I don't know, I tried to think of like a, a fun name, but I, I have nothing. Basically, this is just a big fat palette full of greens and blues and I'm living for it. So it's called the Colorbook CB05 Shadow Palette. They have a bunch of different ones. So if the blue and greens aren't your thing, we can't be friends. No, but they really do have like a bunch of different colors, but obviously I went for this one here. Should we open it? Should we do that? Should we just, should we just do it? I'm planning on doing a full testing video, three testing videos actually. I'm gonna be doing a video on the new Revolution Glass collection. And then I'm just gonna be doing a video on like new Revolution makeup that I want to try out. And then I'm also gonna be doing a video on I Heart Revolution. So yeah, if you guys are waiting on any reviews or anything, stay tuned, they'll be coming. Okay, so there are 48 shadows in this palette. Looks like this. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh my God. Yes, 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 okay. That's cool, so basically it's exactly the same colors, but one side is matte, one side is shimmery. I actually didn't even realize that. Oh, yes, this is making me feel a whole lot of things. So yeah, I got that. All right, so next up is this guy here. I just saw it literally as I was going to the checkout and like the, you might like this bit. And I thought, you know what, I might like that. So I picked this up as well. It is called the Rose Quartz Highlighter. Is this supposed to be like, I mean, it's a little bit late, but is this supposed to be like some kind of Christmas decoration situation? Let's give it a little swatch. So the packaging's nice. Ooh, okay, hello, hello, hello. Wait, okay, so it looks, actually looks a bit chalky now. It like, it swatches pretty well, looks, quite shimmery on the finger and then you swatch it and you're like okay not much light reflecting from it and then when you kind of blend it out it does kind of disappear a little bit so curious about this one on first impressions i'm a bit like i've seen better but i also know to never underestimate a revolution highlighter so keen to try that out all right so like i said i did pick up a few bits from the glass collection in fact i'm pretty sure i picked up like everything bar one thing that was like a setting spray but i picked up another setting spray anyway i got a lot of stuff from the glass collection so i will be doing a full review on that very very soon but i picked up the glass skin primer very nice packaging it says it's an ultimate dewy finish i then got the glass mirror shadow palette there are two different palettes i obviously went for the one with like the bluey tones in it because I'm a predictable bitch. But yes, I got those. Next, there are a few bits from My Heart Revolution. So this is the Peach Delight Mattifying Primer with Vitamin C and E. I am curious to see if this smells of peaches. They had like a lot of different like fruit themed makeup. Like I'm sure you guys have probably seen like the avocado palette that they do and the pizza palette and stuff, but they have a lot of fruit stuff now as well. And my head just instantly went to like, is this gonna smell like fruit? I mean, you guys know what I'm like when it comes to scented products. I go into like full on child mode. Okay, let's see. Um, Does that smell of anything? I mean, it smells like something, but I'm not sure it smells like peaches. Oh, okay, I actually didn't realize it was a mattifying primer. I just got it because I thought it would smell like peaches. So that's why it's kind of like a silicone sort of based one. Okay, it smells a little bit like peaches. It's very kind of like, Plasticky peach, but still, I'm down. So then another thing from I Heart Revolution, which I'm really excited about, and I will be very, very disappointed if this does not smell like bananas, like the foamy sweet bananas. You guys know what I mean. This is the I Heart Revolution Banana Fizzer. I have loads of bath bombs. I didn't need another one, but I literally bought it on the basis that I thought this might smell like bananas. So I'm gonna give it a sniff and we can just experience this moment together. Please smell like foamy bananas. They did loads of different types of these, by the way, so if bananas aren't your thing, they did like other, other fruits are available. Oh, I think it does. Okay, I've got the plastic on it, but I'm gonna make a little hole because I'll probably use this later on tonight, to be honest. There's a bit of banana-ishness to it. Like, I thought it was gonna be more scented. Like, I really did think it was gonna be more scented. Maybe when this is actually in the bath, the smell will kind of like permeate through a little bit, but there's a little bit of banana-ness. Ugh. I mean, I knew it was gonna taste gross, but I've actually never licked a bath bomb before. 
It's probably a reason why I haven't. Um, ah, yeah, moving on. Okay, so the next thing for my hot revolution, this is so cute and so garish and I love it. It's the Revolution Toy Factory Shadow Palette and it is called Li oh, Lulu. Uh, apparently it's an Aries. Personality, cute and fun, and likes adventure and dancing. Yes. Okay, so this is probably, like I said, the most garish looking eyeshadow palette I've ever seen in my entire life. But I'm here for it. I'm not going to open this up because I literally have so many things to go through still. So this video will end up being like 40 minutes long. But this is how it looks on the side. So it's basically a whole bunch of bright colors. I thought it was going to be a lot more flat than this. Like I didn't realize it was going to be such like a chonker. Like I thought it was just going to have like the shape of a bear and be maybe like a little bit thicker than a standard palette. But no, this is a... It's a thick boy, but yeah, looking forward to giving that a go. All right, so the next thing which you guys just got a little sneak peek of is this palette here. It is called the Waffle Face Palette. And basically, as you can see here, it has a bunch of bronzers and highlighters. So I thought that would be good for a little testing video. They have so many of these little like chocolate bar palettes now. I remember when this brand started, they maybe had like five or something. But when I went on the website, there was just so many. I got a little bit lost to be honest. Do you reckon it smells like waffles? That's basically... Like, this entire video is basically just me sniffing makeup and reviewing it. If this smells like waffles... <laughs> ho ho ho! Okay. No, it, it just kind of smells like the other chocolate palettes, to be honest. Disappointed! But yeah, packaging is cute. Alright, carrying on with the whole banana theme, I then also picked up the banana baking powder, which I've, I've got a freaking smell. I swear I'm gonna keep smelling things until I, like, get the kind of satisfaction that I want out of it. Come on, man, I just want a powder that smells of bananas. Is that too much to ask? That's what I wanted. Oh, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted the bath bomb to smell like. That's what I wanted like the primer to smell like. Do you guys remember like the banana gel pens, the scented gel pens? Oh my God. If you had them when you were younger, if you're like my kind of age, what was your favorite gel pen? Mine was either banana, cola, the black one, or grape, or blueberry. Apple was quite nice as well. I just like them all, but yeah, this smells exactly like the banana gel pen. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna leave that on the side because I'm gonna keep sniffing that. So another thing I picked up from my Heart Revolution is one of their Heartbreaker highlighters. I've tried out like the normal heart shape highlighters before and they are really, really good. So I thought I'd pick this up. It basically has one kind of like champagne-y looking highlighter on one side and then on the other side, it looks like a little bit more of like a bronzy rose gold situation. But yeah, this one is in the shade Spirited. They do a few different shades, but thought I would give that a go. Then from the normal Revolution line, I didn't even know this was a thing. Like I haven't seen anything about this online anywhere, but I got the Conceal and Fix Light Beige Ultimate Coverage Concealer with Salicylic Acids. Yeah, I've not seen anything about this before. I don't know if it's like a super new product, like it's literally just launched on Superdrug or if it's an old one. I have no idea. Let me know if you guys have heard anything about this because I've literally not seen it anywhere. But yeah, keen to give that a go. So then moving on to more stuff from the Glass Skin Collection, I have the Glass Glow Fix Ultimate Glow Dewy Fixing Spray. I actually thought this was going to have some kind of like shimmer in it, like the iconic London Prep Set and Glow, but it's just like a clear setting spray, so maybe it'll just make you look extra dewy. I then also got the Illuminating Skin Primer. Did I buy two primers? I did. Oh well. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, okay, so it's kind of like, it's got a little bit of like a pearlescent pigment in it. Um, I'm gonna do the tiniest little swatch. <gasps> oh my god, it smells like sweets. Oh my god, that smells like sweets. Yum. Okay. Ooh. I mean, you guys aren't really gonna be able to see anything like on my hands, so why am I showing you? I don't know. But yeah, it does give the skin a little bit of a sheen. It doesn't make it look oily or anything like that. It just kind of makes the skin, yeah, just makes the skin look a little bit glowy. Okay. I then also picked up this guy here, which again, I've not seen anything about anywhere. It is called the Cherry Truffle Makeup Fixing Spray. So obviously I've got to sniff it. I mean, you can't call something cherry truffle and not have it smell of cherries. Oh, by the way, guys, it's actually my first video that I'm filming since getting my Invisalign. I don't have them in right now. I took them out because I just thought I'm only going to be filming this for like half an hour or so. Yeah, if you can see like these little... These little bits on my teeth, that's where like the Invisalign attaches to. Fun! Okay, anyway, let's try this out. Come on. Come on! Just smell the cherries, for God's sake. Oh, I don't like it. Okay, it's getting better. It smells like something that I got years ago from Superdrug, like literally when I was like under 10. I remember I went through a stage of like getting these little like bath like bees, kind of like all bees, that sort of thing. And they smelt like different things. And I remember I picked up the cherry one and I used it and it, it smelt like this. 
oh, it's like, it's not even like the fake, like artificial cherry smell. I love anything artificial. Mm? It's like, oh, no, it, it smells a little bit like gone off cherries or something. It says this lightweight fixing spray, the gentle scent adds a fresh feel to your skin. That ain't a gentle smell. It makes just, ugh. I don't know why I keep sniffing it when I just hate it that much. I mean, I'll try it. I'll get some use out of it. If it's good, then I will still continue to use it. Cause it's not like, it's not that overpowering, but I mean, it is when you do just properly like stick it to your face. I mean, I've not tried it on my face yet. So I might actually like the product, but the smell I'm not into. Oh yeah, I forgot I got this. So because I spent so much money, uh, Revolution very kindly gave me a little free gift. So this is the Strong Soul um, contour palette. Let's have a look. Okay, that looks quite nice. That shade is far too dark for me, but I can definitely get on board with that one and that one. And then we have a shimmery highlighter, which looks quite nice. I'll take it. That looks all right. But yeah, they just threw that in as a little free gift. So I'm buzzing about that. Let me just sniff this guy again. Don't do drugs, kids. Just sniff banana scented powder instead. Okay, so whilst we're on the topic of bananas, which is a sentence I don't really think I've ever said before, uh, I have the banana highlighter. Um, this is called the Shimmering Highlighting Powder Banana. I'm pretty sure they had like a pineapple one of these as well. Maybe a peach? Like the general vibe is like banana, pineapple and peach by the looks of things. You better freaking smell that banana, my friend. So that's what the packaging looks like, as you can see. Got a cute little banana in there. Come on. I smell nothing. I smell absolutely nothing. Whoa, that is gold. Okay. Oh, that shade on the outside there. Like these ones in the middle are a little bit too yellowy for me, but obviously if you like swirl your brush in there, it'll be absolutely fine. But yeah, that one on the outside. Hmm. That's better. Hell yeah. But yeah, I don't think, I don't think it smells of bananas. I don't think it smells of anything. Cute though. So then we have, yes, another highlighter. Is anyone surprised? So this is the Glass Crystal Illuminator, again, from like the Glass Collection. This looks suspiciously similar, and by similar, I mean suspiciously identical to the Luna Beauty highlighters. Look at this. The packaging is very, very nice, but it's also very nice on Luna Beauty. Oh my God, that is like silver. Okay, I didn't realize that was gonna be like silver. Let's have a look. Yep, okay, that's literally Silver. I might pick up another color because when I am doing that video, that might actually be a bit too silvery for me. Like I like a silver highlighter. I like a cool tone highlighter, but this is, this is basically white. So I might get like the medium middle shade that they do. That does look nice though. Like it looks very kind of like metallic, which is what I'm into. I then also picked up the Heartbreak Concealer, which again, I had heard nothing about. So I'm very curious about whether or not this is gonna be similar to the, um, oh my God, what's it called? The Conceal and Fix or Conceal and Hydrate Concealer from Revolution. So I got this in the shade Custard and it looked like a good color online. I have fake tan since, but Oh, I don't know, that might be a, a little bit too fair for me. So I might go and pick up another one. We yeah, are very curious about that because again, I've literally heard like nothing about it. I then also picked up a little lipstick from Revolution. So this is the matte lipstick in the shade Head Turner. You can probably see the color a little bit better there. It looks kind of like brownie in the packaging, but the actual shade itself does look a little bit more nude. So yeah, got that. So the last thing, I'm pretty sure the last thing anyway that I picked up from the Glass Collection is the... It's just called the Glass Lip Gloss and it just looks like a clear lip gloss. So yeah, got that. And then finally, after like a year, got my hand on the Renaissance Flick Eyeliner. I saw a lot about this. It might have even been two years ago. Like This has been out for quite a while, but I always thought the packaging looked really cool and I was always down to try it, but I just never picked it up. So I saw it and I was like, okay, it's time. So yeah, this is basically just a, it's, it's an intense long wear black felt eyeliner. Heard a lot of good things about this, so I picked that up. I swear when you see like a little counter or something in one of the corners, counting how many times I go, all right, so, or I say, I picked that up, or I say, I got that. But it's like, what else am I supposed to say in a haul? I got this, I got this. But yeah, before someone calls me out in the comments, trust me, I'm annoying myself enough as it is. Okay, so the next thing I got was the Fast Brow Pomade Clickable Pomade Pen. I thought this looked like an interesting little concept. Um, I got it in dark brown and yeah, I don't really know what it's supposed to look like. Ooh, okay, that's weird. It's like a little teardrop shape and it's got these little kind of silicony bristles, which obviously will like help you create little hair strokes, but 
That looks interesting. I'm excited to try that. And then I also got from My Heart Revolution the Vinyl Cherry Liquid Lipstick. I think these are just kind of like shiny liquid lipsticks, which aren't usually my thing. But like I said, I am going to be doing a basically a full face of all these brands. So I thought, got to pick up a lip product. Again, the packaging is giving me full on Lime Crime vibes with like their lip gloss and stuff. There's little cherries on the lids. It's giving me Lime Crime vibes. So again, they had a few different shades of these, but the one that I picked up is in the shade Cherry Bakewell, and obviously I have to sniff it. I wouldn't say it smells cherry-ish. I'd just say it kind of smells a bit vanilla-ish, but looks like that. So a nice kind of like rosy pinky nude shade. So then last but not least from Revolution, I picked up a bunch of different highlighters and bronzers. They're all from the Reloaded collection. So I got the Bronzer Reloaded in Long Weekend, which looks like a kind of warm tone bronzer. I also got, I bought two of the same bronzer. <laughs> okay, one of those is gonna end up in a giveaway, but um, yeah, I didn't realize that. My bad, but um, yes, so I got two of those. They're for highlighters because I've always wanted to try these out, but in both of my local super drugs, these are always out of stock. I got the Dare to Divulge highlighter and also the Just My Type. Let's swatch one of these. I wanna swatch this one here. So this one here is called Just My Type. This is what I wanted in my life. Okay, let's do it on the wrist. Look at the flick of dear wrist, dear wrist. That actually looks stunning, like look at this. Look at that shit. It feels really finely milled as well, which I love, so it doesn't look too chunky on my cheeks or anything. Oh, that looks, that looks very nice. Okay, I can see why these are maybe sold out everywhere because they look bloody good from a swatch. So yeah, stay tuned for a review on these, um, but I have a feeling I'm gonna like them. All right guys, so that is everything that I picked up from Superdrug, a whole load of stuff from Revolution and I Heart Revolution and all the other brands that they do. Like I said, I am gonna be doing testing videos on everything, so I'm gonna be doing a full review on the glass collection, a review on like a full face of I Heart Revolution, and then also an updated new in from Revolution makeup video. So yeah, there's a whole lot of Revolution reviews coming your way. Like always, let me know if you guys have tried out any of the products that I picked up. Let me know your favorites. Give me like a little mini review before I actually try it out myself. And of course, if there's anything else from Revolution or any other brand, to be honest, that you guys want me to try it, then do let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to pick it up. I'm just gonna give myself one last sniff of this powder because it seriously smells so freaking good. So guys, as always, if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.